So I'm going to show you how to generate the Java docs in a format that is very useful for um, programmers who, of course, use web browsers to look through documentation. <clears throat> so here we have a, um, a project in uh, IntelliJ, and I have the some two classes here. And it has some Java documentation for each some of these um, attributes or for these functions in here. And here's another class. So there's two ways to do it. First way is when you use uh, when you use it within IntelliJ, you can specify tools and say generate Java doc, and then here you specify where you're going to put the Java docs, the full path. Okay, so if you you don't want to put it. Uh, you want to put it in a special subdirectory, otherwise you'll get all these files inside of your main project. <clears throat> so if you do this, um, now it's going to launch the browser with the generated files. And if you look back over here, you'll see that the Java docs were put inside of this subdirectory within the project. And then if you look here, you can see that here are all the Java docs for this class that so there's all the classes in the, the project and it puts it all together. So it's a nice way to sort of be able to browse around and look at all your um, Java docs in here. And you can go to each class and so forth, okay? The other way is through command line. So if you delete this, let me just delete this for now so that it doesn't, we can overwrite it. I'm going to open up a command line terminal here. Let's just get this out of the way. And then here we, we're in the um, the main project directory where the code is. So if I just type Java doc source main Java, and then all the sources are here. So instead of specifying one class at a time, and I just type Java. But before I do this, I want to specify where I want to put the generated Java docs. I put slash D and then I put my docs. So here it's gonna generate all the Java docs and again, put it into a subdirectory under the project. And then if I open up that folder, there it is. There's all the generated Java docs from the command line, very similar to before, okay?